Hey guys, it's me right now, one, and I'm bringing you a video here about yesterday's Pokemon Direct. Now, the Direct lasted roughly eight minutes, but they actually squeezed a good amount of information in that eight minutes. But I think the thing that most of us were looking for was the Pokemon game that was coming out for the Switch. Now, there was a Pokemon game announced for the Switch, but it wasn't the one that most of us were thinking, I believe. It was not Pokemon Stars, it was the Pokken Pokemon game, which is the fighting game, which is actually a good game. The Wii U demo I played was actually pretty good, but still, it's just a Pokemon fighting game. When I think most of us were looking forward to a full-blown Pokemon RPG on the Switch. And that's why I think most of us think Pokemon Stars is gonna be. Now, part of me thinks that Nintendo actually purposely announced these Pokemon games yesterday so that when E3 comes around, we'd be doubly surprised because we probably wouldn't even be expecting any more Pokemon announcements, but then boom, Pokemon Stars. And it could happen. They could have purposely done this just to throw us off a bit. And then they announced Pokemon Stars, which may be probably coming out later than Pokemon, po Pokemon DX, I believe it's called. But either way, the fact that they had this Pokemon Direct about a week before the E3 presentation kind of tells me that Nintendo is probably chunking a huge amount of content into that E3 presentation because think about it. They have so much content most likely into that E3 presentation that they have to actually announce this stuff a week before their E3 presentation. I mean, they most likely have so much stuff they're gonna bring to the table next week that they have to, they had to push this back and say, you know what, we can't even fit this in the presentation. Let's just, just announce it a week before or something like that. That's what could have happened. And that's what I think happened because to me, that's what it means. Why, because who announces anything a week before E3? Why would you do that? Why wouldn't you save it for E3? And I think the reason, like I said, is because they have so much at, to announce at E3 that they just couldn't fit it into the presentation. Which is good because they have a lot. I hope they bring so much to the table, knock it out the park next week because I'm, I'm, I'm excited for E3. I'm especially excited for the Switch. You know, it's the new, a new console. I'm looking forward to E3 and I hope that we may get our Pokemon Stars announcement there. Anyway, what do you guys think? Are you guys excited about this game? Maybe, maybe you guys like Pokken and you guys are really excited that a Pokken is coming to the Switch. Let me know your thoughts in the comments below. Thanks for watching. Remember to like, share, and subscribe. And may God bless you all.